Hello everyone! Today we are going to make a fall Thanksgiving-ish Mickey head wreath out of grapevine wreaths that I got at Hobby Lobby. Technically this is a two-pack of 10-inch wreaths, but I like how thick it is with them both connected, so I'm going to keep them together. And the same with these. These are two packs of six-inch wreaths but I'm going to keep them together and put them all together to make the ears. So we're going to add some ribbon, some flowers. So the first thing we're going to do to get started is connect our ears. And we're going to use zip ties to do that. So you first want to see where you want your ears to sit and which way they sit the best. Like for example, this one has a little bit of a flatter edge right here, so I'm going to put that here. I think that's the way I like it there. Okay, so I have it sitting where I want it to be attached. And actually, I'm going to flip it over. Because this is going to be the back. So, just go to place the tie through there. And I'm going to put it through find a spot to kind of have it come through the wreath itself. that one. And don't worry about this because it will be covered up. So now we have our ears attached. And like I said, don't worry about these. This will be hidden once we decorate. So the next step we're going to take is we're going to use some twine to hide our zip ties. Plus, it will strengthen the It'll also help hold the wreath together, give it a little more strength. I'm going to try using four feet of this and see if that's enough. Right next to, and then start going over top. 
top of and just keep wrapping. You could always do a little bit of hot glue if you wanted help keeping it where it needs to be. Now I'm going to finish this and tie it off and I'll come back and show you. So here's what it looks like after I tied it off. Just tied it in a couple knots right back here in the back and you won't see that. So there you can see it hides zip tie really well and it blends in and you won't see that once we start decorating. So I'm going to do the other side and then I'll come back to you. So we got both sides covered. So the next step is to add your decorations. So since this is a fall slash Thanksgiving wreath, I decided that I want to decorate with sunflowers. So I had these already um, previously decorated with them. So all I'm going to do is figure out my layout and then hot glue them on. I already have them cut off of their stems. So I figured I would kind of just tuck them, see where they best sit kind of to the sides of the ear just a little bit like this, so like that. And then I'm gonna add some um, fake leaves, orange and red, and just kind of hot glue them in here like that. And I'm gonna do the same on the other side, just kind of have them going up the ears like that. Let's see if I can show you. Like that. Up a little bit higher just to make it easier to see it. Like that. So now that I know how I want to lay it out, I am going to get my hot glue gun ready to go. And I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Just so you get the idea. And the same thing with the leaves. So let's get them hot glued in. All right, let's start gluing. stem and so on the back of the flower. Same with this one, a little bit of glue on the stem. And all over the back of the flower. Oops, lift the other flower petals up just so I don't end up getting them glued down somehow. like. And then with the leaves I'm going to glue the smaller one on top of this one with just a little dab of glue. So it's already stuck down. I'm just going to turn this around. I think I'm going to place 
place it right like that. So I'm just going to put a little glue on the back here. Lift this up. And tuck it in. And do the same thing for the other side. Just a little, stick it in there. And that's what it looks like. So now we do the other side. So I'm gonna glue this on and I'll come back to you. So we got both ears decorated. So now, the last thing I'm going to do is add a bow. So I chose this ribbon here to make a nice bow. I think it goes well with the sunflowers. So now we're going to make the bow. And I'm going to go with a 5 inch tail. Measure five inches, pinch it there, and then I'm going to go with four inch loops. So I'm going to measure eight inches, pinch it, and bring it together for the first loop. Measure eight inches again, pinch it, bring it together for the next loop. Measure inch, measure pinch, and I'm going to make a total of six loops. So far, I've got four. Take a bit of floral wire, bring that down so it'll create a tail. Just making sure I have the right ends where they should be. Take a piece of floral wire, put it in the center, and then just twist it on. Okay, and I'm going to measure this to be the same length as this one. Cut it. bit of this and make the center. So I want to fold the ends in and bring it around the back and I'm going to need about 
No, let's go with that much. So just gonna cut it right there. So I'm gonna fold my ends under. Use my wire to close it up. Twist it. You can also use a little hot glue there if you want to glue it down. And then open up the wire like this. And obviously after that you're gonna have to re-fluff, but we'll we'll fix the fluff once we're done putting it on. Then I'm also going to dovetail the ends of the ribbon. Nicer, and then add it to our wreath. Find middle. put it through the wreath a little bit. Um, so I'm gonna stick this end through some of the, the wreath. both ends through, so we're just going to twist them on real good. And there's the bow. So here is the finished product. I did add a little piece of twine at the top to make a hook to be able to hang it. So this is really easy to make, really quick to make. And I think it'll look really nice on my front door. I hope you guys enjoyed today's craft. I hope you'll like and subscribe and follow me for some more fun Disney DIYs. Christmas is coming soon and I hope to do lots of Christmas crafts that are Disney inspired. So please come back again. Thanks for watching everybody. Goodbye.